Hey guys, Shimmy here, back with a late night update on a new build. But let me pour this first. Penny Guinness. So we've got what five kits here on the table for the apocalyptic build which is held by um, Miguel and Ross I think I think it's Ross don't quote me on that I beg your pardon if it's wrong so let that settle down for a second um, now I've built this kit a couple of times in different versions um, Ming has this as well uh, Ming one has an engine with it I think there's no engine with this uh, it doesn't really matter now you can't buy the engine separate for it which is about 80 quid or something like that I think it is it's resin and so forth and some PE stuff with it I think um, but this is going to be the apocalyptic I nearly say that word build um, obviously not using a tank I'm still debating on whether they used a trailer in that for it it's a nicer truck on its own so it is but we'll have a look at it in a second but the other contenders it's going to go with this if it decides to use a trailer with it is the um, Z, ZIL 131 emergency truck now on its own that looks like a end of days sort of thing um, truck so we'd wiggle it'll look nice when it's all weathered up and so forth now I will be um, heavily modifi modifying this build um, with grills and so forth bigger bull bars on the, the truck and, and a lot of other things as they want to help the other contender uh, go with the truck and trailer would be possibly the forklift now you get this kit all complete uh, this is the second time I've had this kit the first kit I sent, I bought, sorry, it came damaged. And the second kit came damaged also. So I cut my losses and he got a refund and he said he can roll on the kit. And I got this well over a year ago. Now there's the van. You can see it's badly shaped. But when the chassis goes in, that'll spread it out. So there's no real damage on it in the sense there's no cracks or it's just kind of been squished, but I think the chassis is going to pull that in nice and neat. Um, I think there's a figure rest kit as well, yeah. So there's plenty of plastic on it, um, and there's enough dazzles for six, tip, six types of markings. So again, you get the forklift and the uh, type 2 bus, I think that is. The other one is another Z13, or sorry, ZI L131 Soviet recovery truck, something very similar to one that I showed you. Um, when you've got the, the wind channel here and so forth, uh, tire in the back. Um, so any one of these can go along with the bigger truck, the M911. And then have the other one. Again, you could use this for a apocalyptic build. Um, the AC40 137A Soviet fire truck. Again, these are all 135 scale too, by the way, I forgot to mention. I think you get two different options here with the Dassels. Maybe three, I can't remember now. But I got these kits way last year. Um, I was intended to do them with a the Shinobo sort of thing, but I changed my mind. Um, so the main truck itself, uh, the M911, either what comes or goes, I'll be using this truck here. Um, and I'm using one of these vehicles to go along with it, either on the trailer or I will adapt this chassis to hold um, a metal container. Uh, from I think it's Altera builds makes it the, the double or a single either one so we'll see what comes 
once they get the truck itself, it's, it, it's built itself. So as I said guys, I'm going to be heavy modifying these builds here. Uh, to make them look more apocalyptic. Uh, rather than straight out of the box. So there you just go. This will be starting sometime next week. Probably Monday, maybe Tuesday. And once the score up, they lose all their two builds. Um, the Cobra and the Pontiac. Um, we'll get a quick look at it here um, before we go in two seconds. Um, I don't think I'm going to go around these colours. Uh, there's P with this one as well. So you obviously you got the Desert Storm sort of thing is that. Um, and then the Army version. They're all green or camo. Um, so I don't think I'm going to be going around these at all to be honest. Um, and I, I don't think I'm going to go with this colour either. I, I, I don't know what colour to do just but I don't think it's going to be on these. The paint's settled there. So So there you go guys. Um, what's the next build coming up? There's about 30 tires of it. Truck and trailer alone. And there's loads of plastic in this. And I've built loads of hobby bosses before. And they do build extremely well. I've never had any problems with them. Um, what's that? Masks? No, it's just lettering of some sort. Um, this is always good to see one one piece uh, cabin and then there's your hood. Bits of rope and so forth. And budgie lens. Okay, it's not that one, so there you go. Um, my build and I know uh, Miguel's doing his in 3D and so forth and adding 3D parts to it. My 3D printer is just crapped itself at the minute. Um, the motherboard is away on it. And to replace the motherboard is just cause he's replaced a new machine. So when I get around to it I will be buying a new machine. I won't book in here uh, any cubic again. I'm going to go maybe Igloo Mars or something like that and see if it's any different. Anyway guys, enough round one so Thanks for watching. Enjoy your weekend and I'll speak to you all later. Bye.